You ever have a woman attempt to try to rush you into something that you're not quite ready for yet? We asked Ted and the guys to be real about how long it takes for a man to want to take things to the next level in a relationship. You don't need you don't need a long time to get to know a person. You're gonna get to know a person within a week, and then after the next two weeks, that's when you're really gonna find out if they're crazy or something. Man, don't say that. Don't say that. You never supposed to say that. Cause there's two women in the studio that's gonna be like, hmm. Well, this guy said it only take a week. It only take two weeks. No, it don't take that. You just got lucky when you hopped in. I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah. You got lucky when you hopped in and caught you one you can deal with. Most of them is hard to deal with. Man, I was talking to a girl for two weeks. She asking me what time you go, what time you go to work, what time you get off. Why are you trying to keep tabs on me? You not my girl. You nah, but that's the thing. Right to do that yet? That's the thing. Is like, is y'all going on dates yet, or was she just talking, or were you just talking he to her? Was just talking. That's it. You ain't going on no dates or nothing yet. You already trying to keep tabs on me. She talking about. Well, most people know if. They want to date somebody within two weeks. I said, I ain't one of them people. I know a homie who did <laughs> three days. <laughs> and I was beginning of the school yet. And met this girl right off the bus. Started talking to her <laughs> instantly. And they going out, they getting down, net. I'm like, dang, y'all move quick. Me, man, let me take them. Right now, I don't think it's a time span, but I know it's long. I can't give you a month, like, I can't give you a month aspect or a time aspect. It just, however long it take me to figure you out. You, like, mm. however long it take for me to show me exactly how crazy you are. Because I know over time, it, it's going, if I can deal with your level of crazy, you don't show it to me. Because I know for, for six months, you can hold that crazy back. But eventually, you gonna show me that crazy. Cause I know every every woman got a little crazy and she'll do something crazy mm -hmm. and push to that limit. If I can handle your crazy, then we may be able to date. There's a thin line between friendships and relationships, but can you ever cross that line? We asked Ted and the guys to be real about, how do you feel about dating your female friends? Girls don't like to date their friends. I don't wanna ruin the friendship. Yeah, that is another problem. I don't hurt that yeah, so many times. Yeah, that's that's another problem we deal with all the time. Oh, you a friend? I just see you as a friend. We've been we knew each other so long. I don't want to ruin that. That's something I can't even argue with. That's I all the time. Deal with that so much. That's why, like, if she my friend, I automatically don't even think about dating off real. Like, that's why, like, I tell the girl, we not friends off real. Cause actually, I actually had one. I actually gave a friend of mine a, pre a present and she gave me something back and she ain't want nothing else for a time. I actually do have a best friend. That's actually like that. That's a that's a best friend. That's a best but friend. But let me tell you but something you, right now. If you said your best friend right now, hey, I got feelings for you. She not gonna date you because you're a friend. That's a fact. So I don't got feelings for her. You can't build your own person. But we asked Ted and the guys to be real about what attributes must a woman possess in order for you to date her. Ooh, let me ask first. Let me ask first. Uh, initiative. Initiative, that's a strong one. Because it's a lot of women that don't want to do nothing at all unless you say it. And even if you do say it, they don't want to do it just because you said it. That's aggravating. Two, somebody that listen. Not that just, uh, listen, hear what you got to say. I'm talking about, say, you tell them something that you know about and they actually take heed to your word. You got to have loyalty. You gotta respect one another. And you can't you been used before. You can't you can't just see people and just like just try to use them. I don't really have a look. I just got a oh, what she can't be. You feel me? Like, okay, she can't be like, I don't have a problem with bigger girls, but she can't be. I can't do it. But then again, on the other side of the spectrum, I can't deal with a girl. All I'm gonna say is, I don't want to be able to break her by accident, and I don't want her to break me by accident. That's what I said. That's, that's all. I, that's that's all I can say. But look what I did in words, right? Here. And as far as um, attitude, all that, I just need her to be able to understand me, have patience. She gotta be trustworthy. I don't wanna have to be looking behind my back every two seconds. She gotta be faithful. She gotta be, it's just common things, common relationships things. I can't put any specifics onto it because I can't build my own person. I'm a, 
I'm going to respect what you got as long as you can respect what I got. For all the women out there who might need a little help, what is some helpful advice that you can give to women regarding men? I think this is the perfect analogy for everything that I've ever said when I say effort. Okay? Let's say we was going on a trip and we was going to take my car or something like that. Say, say we're in Daytona right now. Say we going to go to Orlando. Mm -hmm. Say, if she say, all right, since we're taking your car, I'll put the gas in it. I'll be like, you know what? You good, you ain't even gotta do that. The fact that you wanted to do it blows my mind. You ain't even gotta do it. Yep. And I like that about you. Don't accept anything less than what you put, for, from what you put forward. If you, wanna, if you want a guy that's gonna take you out on dates, actually a real date, not a Netflix and chill, not a, oh, let's go hang out in my room, not a real date. If you want that, don't accept anything less because that's what you're gonna keep getting. Like, if you want somebody to take you out on dates, tell them, hey, you want to go out? All right, we're going to go Applebee's. We're going to go somewhere. We're going to go out. We're not going to go to your room and chill. Mm -hmm. Don't accept anything less than what you want. Take a initiative. Oh, my God. Do you know how much, how far initiative go? Let me tell you something I saw on Twitter the other day, okay? I saw it was a picture of um, these dishes in the sink. And they said, oh, if this is at your man house, or uh, dude you talking to house, Go ahead and handle this for him. It's gonna go a long way. Girls come in, uh, he a grown man, he clean up at himself, blah, 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 blah. But that will go so far with me if you just did that. I would have did it myself. Even if you said you even if you said you was gonna do it and you just did it and you ain't, I would have told you, no, don't worry about that, I got that. But just cause you said you was gonna do it, that's gonna be like, dang, she, I messed with her. It's just that initiative, like it does, it does something for me.